documentary. That's what I wanted to see. It seemed like somebody sitting up there lying. And I ain't gonna play like I'm a fool. Cause I know when somebody lying, they talking about Wendy Williams sick. How come ain't nobody changed her diaper during the whole documentary? Hey Reggie, we live? Hey man, we live. Hey, how y'all doing out there? I got some old sad news for y'all. They saying that Wendy Williams drank herself to dementia because she was thinking about her ex-husband. She was in love. She can't believe that this man betrayed her. And now that she don't drink herself to her last memory, they saying that her one and only final memory is the memory of her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. They said they went to a restaurant the other night and y'all know Wendy Williams, she the one that paid. And when she went to sign the receipt, they said she signed Kevin Hunter on the paper, man. And it's so bad. The people that made the documentary said none of us, nobody in the world should be watching this heartbreaking Wendy Williams documentary. They saying her son, her niece, her whole family is pure evil for putting this thing together. We about to talk about it. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button, man. And my question for everybody out there is, should Wendy Williams be in the nursing home? Because if she doing that bad, how in the world they gonna have her out here on the streets and she ain't even doing that well, man? Hold on, let's get this together. How many people we got up in here, man? Hey, don't tell me that thumbnail bootleg on the show. Don't tell me we ain't got no thumbnail up there because if we don't, why the hell it look like that? Don't tell me they took the thumbnail off of it because if they did, all oh, hell about to break loose up in here. Hold on, y'all. I can't believe the thing looking bootleg like that. Reggie, if this thing ain't right, bro, your ass fired. Ain't no way the thumbnail should be looking like that. Wait a minute. Okay, what's that all about? YouTube, they playing games. Tell me if that's what y'all see on y'all end of the video. But until then, let me show y'all some love real quick. Because this don't even make no damn sense. Reg, set that thing up. Okay, there it go. Look, we got about five people up in here. Party time. Ernie Do Dirty. Unique Savage. The homie Sean Pimpin. What it do, dawg? Tony's Treasure. Latoya Pert, who else we got up in here? We got Frankie, Johnny Golden Doodles in the building, man. That's what it is. We over here doing the damn thing. Y'all need to see this real quick. Go on, set that up so they can see that. Listen at this, y'all. I can't imagine what it's like for you all watching this because it's really unnerving for us who don't even really know Wendy like that watching it. But one of yeah. the things that still sits with me is the clip where she calls you Kevin. <laughs> So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? Damn, man, that don't snatch her brother pride, his ego, everything. He told everybody he was going to meet with his sister, Wendy Williams. He on the airplane talking about how he about to meet with Wendy Williams. He finally got there and she called his ass Kevin. He like, shit, you was better off calling me Ray Allen. I would have felt better about that shit. Like, Ray Allen, congratulations on your championship rings. He probably would have been smiling if she would have said that. The daddy looking like, what the hell going on right now? Oh, my goodness. He like, I got enough sense to know that ain't Kevin. Like, damn, this man really got my baby girl brain on lock. She can't stop thinking about his ass. And it only get worse because it's a few things that we need to discuss, man. Look at this. Wendy Williams, ex-husband Kevin Hunter, forced to sell his Florida home amid ongoing financial struggles since being cut from alimony checks. So he doing bad, bad. That money was good while he was getting it. They don't froze her accounts. Now he can't get another dime. And it got me thinking, is she putting on the show 
Is this all just a charade just to keep this man up out her pockets? Wendy Williams' ex-husband Kevin Hunter was forced to sell his Florida home amid ongoing financial struggles from being cut from the alimony checks. The ex of fame TV personality Wendy Williams continues to struggle financially, man. He doing bad. According to a report, Kevin Hunter recently sold his bachelor's pad seemingly due to insustainable of no longer receiving alimony payments. So he can't afford to live like how he used to live. He got to downgrade everything. The court documents obtained by the outlet reportedly reveal that Kevin Hunter, who was 50 years old, recently sold his Florida home, which he purchased back in 2020. It wasn't even that long ago. Following his split from Wendy Williams, if you recall, the TV host filed for divorce from her then husband of nearly 22 years after he fathered a child outside of their marriage. Hunter reportedly closed on the Sunshine State property for $795,000 and recently flipped it for a million point twenty-five. Reportedly, the ex-celebrity husband was in court recently begging y'all once again to continue his alimony payment to keep the house, but seemingly to no avail. So he was in the courtroom begging them people to make her pay that alimony. Like, please, I ain't gonna be able to survive if she ain't paying this alimony. And now she's stuck on stupid. Kevin this and Kevin that. She been constant her whole life evolve around this man. Now they saying she don't drink to herself to dementia. And she can't stop thinking. That's all she could think about. She stuck. And ain't no way she could get up out of it, man. Listen at this. Still sits with me is the clip where she calls you Kevin. So Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? Did you realize at that time? Damn, man, that broke that man pride. She can't think about nothing else. She like, damn, this motherfucker really had a baby on me. He took all I had to pay him alimony. Oh my goodness. That's her concentration. Whenever she falls asleep, she hum herself to Kevin land. Wake up, think about Kevin punching and shit, swinging at the air. Like you dirty dog. Hold on, Reggie, them phone. Man, get the phone lines open. You tripping, dog. My bad. Man, open up the phone lines so they can call up here. If that's what they want to do, man. Okay, them phone lines open. Look, people been calling. Your ass ain't had a phone line. Man, get it together. I'm sorry. Hey, man, them phone lines open, y'all. We can go and get back into the video. Make sure you got everything straight. Everything good? Hey, we good. All right, then, let's go and get back to the show. Y'all need to listen at this. Go and play that, Reg. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm divorced. Yes. He's got no money. She said he ain't got no money. That's all she know. That's all she cared to know. Her life spiraled out of control because she fixated on making sure that this man is living a living hell. That's her only motive, her only reason to breathe. The only function that her brain desires to function, man. Oh my goodness. Wendy Williams judge denies ex-husband Kevin Hunter's demand for alimony payments to continue. He was in the courtroom on both knees, begging, sweating and crying. Like, please, if you take this money away from me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Allegedly, Hunter doubled down on his claims that amid Wendy's battle with Wells Fargo over the rights of her multi-million dollar fortune, his alimony checks were wrongfully stopped. He reportedly wrote in the new illegal documents he don't give a damn about her money being froze. All he know is that he want his cash money 
right in his hand for the rest of his life for cheating on her and having a baby outside their marriage. Oh my goodness. He said, look at this y'all. He said, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, foreclosure will soon follow. Oh my goodness. Where his new baby mama at? Where the new chick? Ain't she a massage therapist? She better give me some love me long time with that. Oh my goodness. Get some ballers on her payroll. You better put her ass out there. The super masseuse, the butt naked massage lady. That's the only way they're going to be able to pay them bills. Look at this, man. Oh, man, we got Humble Walters in the building. Niecy Brown, Christina Moore, Miggity Mark. I'm shouting y'all out and not now one of y'all ever pick up the phone and call. Sean Pimpin, that's my homie for real, for real right there. That's one of the day one homies, man. He ain't got a call, but the rest of y'all do. Oh, uh, Frankie and all them people. Man, look, when y'all call, that's when y'all get a shout out. That's how we gonna start doing that around here. And if you ain't no member, I ain't saying shit. Oh but I appreciate y'all for watching, man. And make sure y'all hit them like buttons and subscribe to the channel. I'm here to let y'all know that Wendy Williams is fixated on this man. Let's get back into this. Okay, pull that up so they could see exactly how hell bent Wendy is on this man. Listen at this. Run that back. Hey, there you go. To see you more. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Oh my goodness. Hunter. Yep. Mm hmm. Gee, and as I'm, look. Yep. That's what it is. Like I said what I said and I meant what I said. Like y'all call me crazy all y'all want. All I know is this nigga ain't got no money. Yeah, I'm fucked up. I look crazy. Hey, that's the L I gotta take. The fixate on making sure that this motherfucker broke. Oh my goodness. She done lost her mind. Being vindictive against her ex-husband. She turned into a whole yogi just to make sure his life is a living hell. She meditate on this man all day, every day. In deep concentration. And now with her last sparks of her brain cells, they saying that this man is her only memory. That's all she got left. Oh my goodness. Two plus two, Kevin plus Hunter equals Wendy Hunter. That's all she know. Look at this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm divorced. Yes. He's got no money. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's all she care about. Yeah. That's all she know. That's all. That's all. That's the only way you can reason with her. That's the only conversation that she willing to have. If it ain't about Kevin, she don't know what the fuck you talking about. You better all speak a sign language and speak in Chinese if you ain't speaking about Kevin Hunter. Oh my goodness. She's gonna look at you like everything is a blur. Like, uh, me speak a non no Kevo. She got her own language. Hold on, run that back. This is the last time. Y'all need to see this, man. Cause I can't even believe myself. Listen at this. Come in to see more. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Oh my goodness. Hunter. Yep. Damn. She like, what you say Hunter for? I told you what it is, bitch. You can't hear. Black China said, Hunter. Yep. And don't you doubt it, bitch. Because that's what my name is. Listen at this. 
I'm divorced. Yes. He's got no money. Oh my God. Oh my God. She feel like she won. She the champion. She the cha she she gave it all she got. She a she a, a spiritual warrior. She a fighter. That man was over there living good, eating shrimps, got a new baby crying in the back. Wah, wah. Baby, Wendy paying for the new baby. Oh my goodness. He got this little thought pocket walking around shaking her little ass. She all in the house feeling that AC down there in Florida that Wendy paying for. He thought he was going to live like that for the rest of his life. Her ass went into deep concentration, man. Her ass turned into Yoda from the Star Wars just so she could put a little Jedi mind trick on his ass, man. Look, man. Her ass turned into Yoda. She went in the deep. She went off in the mountain somewhere just to get back at this man. Look. She turned herself into a. She can transmute. She can go through walls. She can do all types of shit. And I ain't trying to be funny. And I ain't trying to be disrespectful. But they saying that this man is her last and final memory. Oh my goodness. Shit. They might as well put her on the moon. Forget putting her in the nursing home. <laughs> Put her ass on Mars somewhere. Oh my goodness. That way she could think about Kevin Hunter in peace. Hold on, y'all. This is the last time, I promise. Look at this. I'm divorced. Yes. He's got no money. No money. He broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's what it's all about, baby. I don't, I don't want no potato salad. I don't want no baked beans. I ain't even hungry, bitch. It's all about Kevin being broke. And I'm going to drink myself for the pot. She's celebrating. Like, yes. Every day of her life, a toast to that. Like, give me another drink. Oh, he living in the trash can. Put a hey, hand me the bottle. Oh my that motherfucker, he in the trash. I'm going to celebrate. Yeah, bitch. Your ass struggling. You ain't got no gas. That hoe over there eating noodles. That baby crying. The baby hungry, bitch. Yeah. Somebody pour me another drink. She won. She don't give a damn how this play out. Her victory in life. She don't give a damn about that show. She don't care about the radio. She care about that motherfucker wiping his ass with newspapers. Oh my That's all she care about. She don't give a damn about her brother. Her daddy, they, they just there. Look at this, man. It's really unnerving for us who don't even really know Wendy like that watching it. But one of yeah. the things that still sits with me is the clip where she calls you Kevin. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? He look like somebody fought in his face, y'all. He like, hmm, that's kind of funky, Wendy. Like, that's some foul shit. He could smell the funk. Even her daddy looking like, uh-oh. Her daddy dropped his keys. Everything that was in his pockets fell out on the floor, man. Like, oh, shit. Like, you know, you are, he already has a bruised ego. You're, you're, you're bigger than him, Wendy. You're bigger than, you're better than nobody knows who he is. You couldn't say his name, Wendy. 
The only thing they know about him is that he's your brother and you just, just called him another man. It just, oh my he ain't gonna be right. When did that was just it? Like I told you, Dad, I have frontal lobe of dementia. Wink, wink. Like, come on. I did it for the ratings. I knew it would hurt his feelings. When are you going to realize this is just what I do? Like, oh, they want to be entertained. Oh, they're going to be entertained. I've been in the industry for 30 years. I know what people want. They want to see me look stupid. You know, Wayne Winehouse. That's what they want of me. I'm going to give them what they want. Put on a show. That way they'll think about giving me my money back. Look at this, man. You Kevin. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Hold on, man. One more time. I do apologize. Y'all stay tuned. Matter of fact, hit that like button while I get this together. Pretty please. Do it for me, man, because I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, here we go. Reggie, go on and get that thing set up. Go on and play that. Wendy like that, watching it. But one of yeah. the things that still sits with me is the clip oh where goodness. she calls you Kevin. Oh. Hold on. She made sure she put her purse. Y'all see the way she moved her purse? As soon as he sat down, she picked that motherfucker up and moved it to the other side. Like, uh-uh. The look on her face when she was moving that purse says it all. Look at this. Where she calls you Kevin. <laughs> yeah, mm -mm. She already know. He looked like he got some bad habits too. Like, oh, I partied with him before. He's a sloucher. Take everything in my purse. She got, she, that's the first thing she did. Hold on, look at this. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. I remember when y'all was fighting in the room. I remember it was over a stupid ass candy bar. I remember I was in there fighting over the candy. I bought it. I bought it for her. You said it was for you and you, you, you. I remember, oh man. I was still bigger, and I see what this is. Ain't nobody that stupid, Wendy. You didn't have to embarrass the man. Come on, Pop. Whatever. He's gonna have to grow some testicles someday. Did you realize at that time that Wendy's condition was getting worse? Is that when it really started to click with you? Well, you know, something crazy is that, you know, we, we kind of do that sometimes. You know, I get uh, people say Kevin all the time because we have that likeness and things. But you know what? With Wendy, I know that it was conditional. Mm -hmm. And it was... Uh, no, no, don't try to... No, don't try to do that. Try to make it seem like you look like her 20-something-year-old son. Try to toot your own horn like you look like you Wendy Williams' son, A. Hey. <laughs> Knowing damn well that she played the life out of his ass. He trying to take it on the chin. But he up there talking bad about his sister. Listen to this. No. And I said that amongst family because I really didn't have a, a, a good, uh, I didn't have an idea of what she was planning on doing with this piece. Did filming and did airing this documentary, do you believe that it helped Wendy's condition or do you believe that it hurt? Wendy more. Hey, listen, it's, the, you know, we've been at the bottom. We've, I, I believe that we've hit it and that she's hit it. I think the documentary is good. I appreciate the documentary because it, it released me. It unle and it unle Nigga, hold on, y'all. What the hell did I just, what the hell? He went on and got breast implants just to, oh my goodness. 
just so people will know that he Wendy Williams' brother. Like, what do you want me to do? It runs in the family, man. You know, we're all well and down. You know, my mom, my sister, you know, just, it trickles down. Y'all got the double Ds, man. That's a, that's a part of the, the family tradition. I can't help it. You know, I got moves. Well, you know, Wendy Williams is my sister. It's a fat trumpizer that, you know, deposits in the chest area. The hell going on here? He leaned back. All you seen was them door knockers. What the hell? Nigga, I don't know. He do something on the weekend. Keep that head ball so them wigs could slide on there real good. Oh my goodness. The hell going on with her brother, man. Somebody said he be breastfeeding pigs, man. Don't be talking about that man like oh that. No, he a part-time breastfeeder. Goats, chickens, ducks, you name it, man. Spend the whole weekend on the farm and come up on like three G's. Look at this. Yeah. I love you. So do I. She's still spiteful, mean, evil, disrespectful. She's slick with it. Man, <clears throat> you ain't never seen an American legend like this. Spite the whole world just to get back at her ex-husband, man. And still sending shots under the table subliminals with the dementia twist on it. She make it seem like dementia is a blessing. Like now I can say what I want and I don't have to be held accountable anymore. I can literally tell someone to kiss my ass. They can't react like I'm a normal human being. They know my condition. Oh my I can get away with saying just about any outlandish thing. Like this is something I wanted ever since I was a little girl. Like, oh, only if I had dementia when I was doing radio, I could have got away with so much more. And I know this ain't no laughing matter, but it's starting to look like they put this all together for a documentary just to hype up the buzz. Somebody tell you, I love you. You say, I love me too. And bite your, but that ain't got shit to do with dementia. And she was quick with it. Hold on, look at this. Yeah. 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 I love you. So do I. She's, for a split second there, she was thinking, bitch, what the hell is you doing sitting on my couch? Oh my goodness. They had a stare down. Like, bitch, I know you don't like me. I don't like you neither. They had a stare down. Oh my goodness. And Black China was giving her the word. Like, don't think, don't trip, bitch, because if you swing on me, she, the eye contact was vicious. Like some damn cats. Like I dare you raise your paw. I will rip the side of your face off. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, I'd love to see you try it, honey, because I got claws. I've been digging into the eyes of bitches like you for years. Oh my goodness. I know what you're about. I know what you did. I know what you like. I know who you are. The demon, just like the rest of them. Trust me, I know. I know your type. I am Wendy Williams. You play with me, I have games to play. I bet I will have you broke. Just like Kevin Hunter. They had to stare down. 
And it was not a pleasant feature on her face, man. She looked like she ready to take her earrings off and beat her ass. <clears throat> like, I will sit in your face for a check. As long as y'all paint. Look how she looking back. Oh, man, this is crazy. Ain't no love in neither one of their faces, man. That's like if somebody give you some water, some black China offer her a tall glass of water. And instead of taking the favor and returning the favor, she drank the whole glass of water and burped in her face. Oh my goodness. So do I. Ugh. She ain't give no love in return. She took the love, swallowed the love and had the nerve to burp it back. In her fucking face, man. That's messed up. That's like she pay for your dinner and you don't even offer her a French fry. You just eat, you don't even say thank you or nothing. Oh you just eat the whole thing and burp in her face like ugh. Like you grimy motherfucker. And she smiled about it. She giggled on the inside about it like bitch. Like, oh, that's going to hurt Nicole. She's going to cry in the car. Oh it's going to hurt her like for at least three months. She's going to be fucked up until Christmas. Like, well, you know, she should have never said she loved me because, you know, I'm not the lovable type of person. So stop it. Don't nobody love me. Nobody really does. They say that they say it, but they don't. I know they don't. I said a lot of shit that hurt a lot of people's feelings. And, you know, I have to live with it. It's okay. I can live with it. I'm Wendy Williams. It's nothing to me. I was teased. I was teased in school. I know it's like I heard. I know what pain is like, you know. I've been there for a long time. And I feel like everyone has to embrace it. If I had to, then everyone else should as well. Life's not easy. I'm not going to make it easy for anybody. And now they talking about her last memory. <clears throat> the only thing she left with. She in the baby crib. With her feet up. <laughs> a Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin Hunter. Hunter. She got a bow and arrow and everything. Hunter. She stuck on this man. And he doing bad. Y'all need to listen at this, man. Listen at her husband. Talk about how her son got evicted from his house. <laughs> listen at this, man. Oh, it's just been uh, all wrong. Well, I know I saw something that was sad the other day by People Magazine. They said that he was evicted from one of his apartments down here in Miami due to unpaid rent. I just wanted to see... If he was all right, are okay. you down here to help him with housing? <laughs> first like, of all, hold on, hold on, first hold on. Me... Hello, hello, who this is here? Hello, what's up, fam? This Ice, man, from New for News. Oh, what's going on, bro, man? We need you to cut that off in the background. Pretty please, we over here talking about Wendy Williams. We would love to know what you got to say about all this. You said about Wendy Williams? Yeah, man, that's what we talking about. Well, I must be late uh, then. I'm up here looking at the one with T. Diddy and Oh, whatnot. man, you don't call them for the wrong video. We appreciate the call, but we ain't talking about that no more, man. And next time, make sure you know that we lie before you call them, man. So much love well, to you. Well, it's they live. You, you got to check it's the date. Right we did that yesterday, man. You got to check the oh, date shit. on those videos, bro. We going to holler at you later. Thank him so much for his phone call. He just called in at the wrong time. But nevertheless, he still called. So much love for him. He talking about, let me show y'all what he talking about real quick, man. Real quick. He talking about this video we did last night. 
pull that up. The one we did. Because people been calling all day about that video. Right, hello, man. hello. Who this is here? Hey, Sean. What's good, bro? How you been? Oh, what's going on, bro? We need you to cut that off in the background. We ain't talking no about P. Diddy, man. No we talking about... Ever, no problem at all. So how's everything going with you, my Oh, brother? man. We, we doing amazing over here talking about Wendy Williams and everything. Is that what you call to talk about? Yes, sir. Right? Oh, I know man. it's been a while since you called. I know it's been a while since you heard our voice. You know, but like just this whole situation with Wendy is sad, man. You know, like like we may be the only ones that still like that about her, cause you know, like think about it. Wendy has been the main person since the '90s. You know what I'm saying? WBLS, Hot 97. You know what I'm saying? Everybody known her to be a main person. It's just a so, job. I know, I know, but like people don't feel like it's just a job when they when they being talked about. It. So, at the end of the day, Wendy Williams made gossip a payout. She was the first one to make gossip payable. Like she was the only one that, that broke that broke that lane out. It was her. True, true. Yeah. And so they need to give her flowers. They need to stop disrespecting her. And they need to leave her alone. That's where I'm at. That's a fact. I agree. I totally agree. Also. But you know, people don't respect her for even carving that type of lane. Cause for the longest, a superstar was a superstar. The only thing you knew was what they said on their albums or what you seen in the movie. Ain't had no Instagram or no social media or nothing like that to expose a LL Cool J back in the 80s or run DMC what, what was going on in their personal lives. Nobody knew and nobody really cared. Wendy. And with that said, and with that said mm -hmm. thank you to Wendy Williams because it was Wendy Williams that reached out to everybody that got, got everybody's attention, that gave everybody the information that everybody was looking for on the radio station. She was the pioneer. Thank you. At the end of the day, thank you. She needs her flowers. Show her respect. That's where I'm at. I mean, but, the conversation goes. They, they talk, but at the end of the day, that's where I fall back in the same seat. I can't. I can't say anything negative. So Wendy okay. Williams is the reason why you got AI making up videos about celebrities <laughs> and people actually believing the shit. Wendy Williams no, is the reason why. Wendy. Wendy Williams ain't got nothing to do with AI, and AI ain't got nothing to do with Wendy Williams. That's a whole nother chapter. She, you saying she the founder? She the mother of the celebrity <laughs> gossip? We're talking about gossip. We're talking about celebrity gossip and getting it out there to people who don't know where to get that channel and to get that information. Shit, it's all over the place now. That's the point I'm trying to make. That's now, what it's all now, about. Now it's out there, it's all over the place. They don't even need Wendy no more. And that's the sad part. And they don't her. need her no more because they, they got the no artificial more. intelligence, like I'm saying. It's not fair, yo. Don't, yeah, just because they don't need her no yeah. more, don't get her. Give her her flowers. Have several seats. Show her respect. That's where I'm at. And they're not going to do that because how disrespectful she's been. That's where I'm at. No. How disrespectful we are in reality. Humanity is in a disrespectful place. It's not even a race no more. Thanks Humanity to people. Thanks to people. Thanks to people like Wendy Williams. Yeah, 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 both. But Wendy Williams yeah. did it with grace, and she didn't do it sloppily. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't throw or drag nobody when she did that information. She ain't no. drag she Whitney Houston. She ain't drag. Let you ponder about it. She ain't drag Whitney Houston. Talking about how she was on crack. Look, damn. If anybody, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this: If Wendy Williams lied about anything, why did anybody sue her? True. For defamation of character. True. That's Nobody because that's because that's because what? it was always five on the black hand side. She ain't go at nobody Wendy outside her that, race. Wendy Williams ain't got that much power. She ain't like no Jay Z or anything to no Janet Jackson or Whitney Houston. Black folks don't Wendy tend Houston to do that big. to other black folks. Wendy Houston is big body, bigger than Wendy Williams. Look, Wendy Williams has put out all the truth and the facts. People don't like the truth. The ugly Earl, the purple herbal. Like, look. People hate the truth. People and if people can't handle the truth, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, people need the truth. Right. Thank you, Wendy. I'm giving you your flowers. Everybody needs to have several seats, and they need to show your respect. But I agree. I hope you get healthy very soon. Have a speedy recovery. God bless. God bless, man. That said, that was said from a true Wendy Williams fan. 
That's all about that windy life, man. And y'all got to expect for this woman to have fans because she been entertaining people for a long time. You know what I'm saying? She a diehard Wendy fanatic. And I can't blame her because Wendy do got talent. But this girl right here, shit, Wendy Williams, her Muhammad Ali. I'm not even a fan. I'm not even a Wendy Williams fan. I am a human being at the end of the day. And to see this woman deteriorate in front of everybody's eyes and everybody to sit here, kick her while she's down, is sad. It's messed up. up. I'm not a fan. I'm just a human being that doesn't like to see somebody get kicked while they're down. That's like me. I'm sorry. It was all smiling in my face as soon as I got in the wheelchair. She was like, oh, look, he's in the wheelchair. Uh, Yo. It was nice talking to you, Sean. Definitely. It was great talking to you again, Sean. Uh, I got for on. both of y'all, man. And make sure y'all call back whenever y'all feel like it. So much love for the both of y'all, man. We're going to holler at y'all later, no Ooh. doubt. Damn, I should have recommended some therapy or something because they said, this, that ain't had nothing to do with Wendy Williams. The hell going on over there? Yeah. I thought this was all entertainment, man. I need to re backtrack and apologize for everything I done said. Oh my we came here to have a good time. Y'all over there treating this thing like this church. Don't have an intervention on the phone. This ain't what I do. Oh my I was going to say Wendy Williams family turned her into a family, turned her to the family cat. That's all I came to say. She around there. She standing out the window all day. Hissing at people when they touch her liquor bottle. Like, put that back. Like, don't touch my liquor. She just catty. The family cat. They made a whole documentary about her, man. And this the video that I did. Like, boy, that shit looks zesty. <clears throat> Them boys on them boys. Did Stevie J get smashed by Diddy? That's the video they all calling about, man. Cause them boys be on them boys. Hello, hello, who this is here? This is Tracy. Oh, what's going on, Tracy? We need you to I'm cut that off in the background. We need you to cut that off, please. Cause it don't make no sense to me. It's, it's loud. Okay, it's off. Thank you so much for turning that off. Yeah. How you feeling today? I'm doing, I'm doing good. How are you? Oh man, I'm doing amazing. Whatever you got to say about Wendy Williams, we all is, baby. I honestly agree with the young lady who just got off the phone. She's just saying, the woman going through, just, you know, everybody want to kick you when you're down. Yeah, you was right about, she, she gossiped by everybody's business, put them on blast. You were right about that. But at the end of the day, you know, she getting a whooping for it. But would you, ain't we at some point supposed to pick each other up? Shit, ain't okay. nobody was trying to put her down. We just reporting on what's going on with Wendy Williams. Y'all yeah. taking this a little too personal. No, it ain't like that. It ain't that deep. It's just like this. That's a, a, a subject, a touchy subject for women. Cause Cause I'm a man okay. reporting on it. I need to be um, called out for that. We talking about mm -hmm. Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. And what's going on Wendy in her situation, man? She's going through hell. You we all know she got to buy everybody from the 90s on up. She got married by business. Now her business is all in the street. Karma is a bitch, but guess what? She is going through. So what do we do? It's, 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 you know, you can laugh about some things, but that right there, she got millions of dollars, can't, take, can't even get your own money. She's struggling, she's suffering. That ain't no fun. That ain't now y'all wanna okay, I see what this is. <clears throat> now y'all <laughs> just wanna have sympathy for the sympathy list. Even oh, though this woman ain't got no sy she ain't got no sympathy for no damn body, but y'all wanna have but you sympathy. Can't forgive a nigga, can't, can't for you the forgive a boy? List. And that's all right. But damn. We talking about Wendy Williams, what she going through is real life facts. They did a whole documentary about it. Shit, I if anybody know. played her or disrespected her, it's her damn family for putting out that documentary. Yeah, I, I couldn't watch it. I, when I seen the first, it, it was too much. My mind's bulging and scared the shit out of me. I couldn't watch it. I said, oh, Lord, I can't. The I network, the media, the, they telling people none of us should be watching this heartbreaking Wendy Williams documentary. They saying that they sick for even picking up the camera 
and even put her out there like that like where is the that's love the, that's the truth that's the truth because we didn't do it they just gave it to us said it to us like it was okay they don't know we real people out here thank we you ain't gonna... thank you yeah 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 so we but trying we... to digest this bullshit that's going on while sending a prayer out to wendy williams because ain't none of this right that's right but what we gonna do about because we got the power to change everything why we keep having these folks do our people like this but, but that's why be... that's why my question for you is and everybody watching all the people in the comment section my question is should they just go on and put wendy williams in the nursing home because if she doing as bad as they say she doing maybe she need to be under 24 hour care uh, absolutely. I would think she need to be under some medical care without people having access to even put her on camera. That's ridiculous. You're absolutely right. She needs to be somewhere. I ain't saying in the dementia home. I'm just saying. She ain't got no love around her. Because love will help you jump snap back. But she got some snakes and demons around her. And, and ain't got nobody fighting for her. And they exploit her. Your can't take it. Huh? And they exploiting her at the same time. Absolutely, and getting paid for it. So the same stuff that these these other folks are doing to her, her family is getting involved in. They're not reaching out to say, y'all help us get our, our our family home. They saying, oh, we don't give a damn. We just gonna put it out there. Yeah, y'all, gonna, we gonna get famous. Off. How you gonna get famous off somebody sick? She don't need, don't act, nobody has needs to have access to her, period. But some doctors that can help her. Cut that foot off, whatever's going on with that. That, 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 that. That's too much. Just sit down somewhere. She ain't gone. I'll take care of my mama. She got, she going into an all-time dimension. Ain't nobody in my family for to tell me she crazy because she ain't. She just needs some love, somebody there to care for. Her. You don't take things away from people. They livelihood, they work for it. Then you think they going to act all simple. They, oh, we cool now. Y'all going to take care of me? She can't even get a meal? Yeah. Thank you for listening, sir. Oh man, real talk. And we want to thank you so much for calling in, man. Everything you said was real. That's why when I go live <clears throat> the next time, make sure you call back, baby. We got so much love. We're gonna holla at you later. Real talk. She called in and let y'all know that y'all should be crying tears about what's going on with Wendy Williams, man. And I don't disagree with that. I feel like this is very sad that Wendy went out like this. But the truth of the matter is everything that's going on with Wendy got everything to do with her ex-husband, man. He the one that drove her to the brink. Now they saying she only got one memory left in her memory bank. And it's all about Kevin. They don't know if it's her son, but one thing for sure, she got this man on the brain. That's all she talking about. He trying to have a $10 million lawsuit against production company for the Wendy Williams show after scoring winning court. He trying to get her for every dime she had, but she finally got the victory. Her mission is complete. She a veteran. She look like she don't been to Vietnam. Oh my she survived. He ain't getting a dime of her money no more. Whatever it took to make this a reality, she went ahead and went through it. Hell no, she couldn't focus on doing the damn show. Hell no, she couldn't smile and act like everything was all right. She went through it bad. Like, who's going to be my supplier now? Oh my I need connections. Put me back. Push me to the Bronx. Just leave me there. Take me to the Bronx and leave me there. Someone's going to know. They're going to they're gonna scoop me up. I'm going to hang with the homies. I'm going to have a new connect. Because <laughs> I cannot be lost out here. Without Kevin, I mean, he was my every. I come home, it's all there. I didn't have to go in the dark alley or meet anybody strange. It was just always there. Now, I appreciated him for that because he knew that, you know, I like to party. 
I was always a cat girl when I was coming up. I knew I was. I was catty. I would leave home, come back. No one asked too many questions, but they knew. They, they knew I was catty. Kevin provided me with a way to be home with all of the festivities. Like there was nowhere to go. I had alcohol, everything. It was in house. I was able to do the show. Without that atmosphere, I would have never been able to do the Wendy Williams show. He had it all set up. You want to have thugs and shit around? We got thugs. We got we got weirdos. Everything at the house. Got liquor. Got drink. Got smile. He treat every night like it's a Saturday night for Wendy. Like, wow, I could do this forever. What do you mean? I can't. I was freaking off in the bathroom. You were in here taking a nap. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Oh my goodness. Come on, Kevin. I want to get some sleep. Too much partying. There's a party in the morning. She wake up to mimosas and shit. Like, I rolled you a blunt. Got you an omelet. What a mimosa. Like, what more do you want from me? Like, just hand me the lighter for my blunt. Like, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Like, man, I got to get away from this bitch. She having so much fun. When do I get to have some damn fun? Now listen at this, y'all. Let me be clear about something. Um, He's doing great. Mm -hmm. Um, He's probably still living better. He's blessed. He's probably still living better than most. Um, At the end of the day, that whole situation, you know, his mom uh, purchased the apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first of all, let's, let's, let's rewind. He had some security issues at the place he was living at in Miramar. Um, mom's uh, purchased an apartment where she planned on spending more time down here. Obviously, you know, from everybody seen in the public, they see uh, what's been happening and the, and the whole digression of that. But in the midst of all that, she still purchased the apartment for him and her and planned on spending more time down here. <clears throat> she wasn't doing as much. Um, things kind of spiraled a little bit. Um, I didn't really know about it until after it was done. You know, I, I, I lean on the side, you know, obviously we've had a very public di divorce. I lean more on the side of a, a, a real practical person. I come from Brownsville, Brooklyn, you know, I grew up in a project. So it's like, you don't need as much. I don't care how much we've been blessed with. Yes, we worked hard. We both have worked hard to provide for you and, and, and you are a blessed child. But you know, in the midst of everything that was happening, she obviously went way above and beyond because of her and her security issues that she has to purchase this apartment, and he was part of it. And um, he didn't really need all of that. And when everything happened, you know, the banks froze everything up. Yeah. He was not in a position to pay $10,000 a month on the apartment. Ooh. Which Ooh. Is, He's a what, college student. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. Damn. They all got hit hard. They all had to take a step back. Like, damn, the ghetto calling. Oh my goodness. Them Brooklyn streets calling. Like, what up, Scrap? Where you been, homie? You back in the hood, money? Shit. Them, them projects, they calling. <clears throat> Them girls, they walking around with them bonnets on, with them flip flops on, holding their baby, taking the trash to the dumpster. Oh my goodness. The ghetto calling. Shit, the Wendy go down, we all go down. They made a documentary about her going through dementia, y'all. Don't y'all see how sick that is? Her darkest moment. Her scariest hour was put on camera for the world. That's some shit you see in the horror movie. Kids get together and do a documentary and see how the views go up. Shit, that's every damn Jason horror movie in the 2000s, man. What was that? Hold on, y'all. I don't need to see this.
Oh. Y'all need to see this. Did, do y'all remember this right here? Look, they did that Michael Myers movie with Buster Rhymes. Y'all remember that shit? In the whole movie, they was filming a documentary. Come to find out, Michael Myers was a real killer. And they had that shit streaming live. And people was getting killed. Do y'all remember that? That's like what they did with Wendy Williams. She a real life Michael Myers. And they acting like this shit a game. They did a documentary with a mentally ill person involved. That's sick. That's the plot of a horror movie. And they did that with Wendy Williams, man. And the only thing on her mind is Kevin Hunter, man. She can't do nothing else. She can't think about nothing else. Listen at this. Dang. Well, he was led to purchase that, but but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all because I feel like we family. That was more of his mom's whole doing, and um, I'm financial people. Well, I have my my financial forensic accountant Auditor. expert auditor here, Eric Pettis, who's gonna be on the back of me and and, and make sure I create I say the right things. Right, um, right. If you want to lend to the yeah, um, well, basically, just to uh, elaborate a little bit on what uh, Kelvin is saying is that um, her financial people led her to p attempt to purchase this property. We haven't uncovered yet who exactly the property belonged to, mm. but it wasn't initially. Hold on. He keep a financial provider on deck? What the hell? He out here, ro he rolling with the financial advisor, man. They some crooks. They sitting around hustling, shooting dice, talking about how they can come up off some money off of Wendy. Like I married her for the big bucks. I know you did. Let's talk turkey. So you got that gal. She got that money. We can get that money. Look at her face. She looking at him with disgust. Like, how you speaking on the woman's finances, sucker? They talking turkey about Wendy's money. And this woman looked disgusted. She like, I ain't studied Maya Angelo to participate in this type of shit. She's like, Angela Davis would choke these suckers. Like, how dare y'all talk about a black woman's finances? She look like she pissed. Like, what part of the game is this, brother? Look at this. Well, I have my, my financial forensic accountant auditor. expert auditor here, Eric Pettis, who's gonna be on the back of me and, and, and make sure I create I say the right things. Right. Um, Who gonna be on the back of me? The hell? All my type of tender love they got going on. <clears throat> He said he my financial expert. He called him everything except for his daddy. Oh my goodness. And said he gonna be on the back of me to make sure I say everything right. Like, don't say that. I'm like, all right, daddy. I said, I, oh what I said, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What type of shit is this? He said that man gonna be there to be on the back of him. Hold on, listen at this. But, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all because I feel like we family. That was more of his mom's whole doing, and um, I'm financial people. Well, I have my my financial. Forensic accountant, auditor. expert, auditor here, Eric Pettis, who's gonna be on the back of me and, and, and make sure I create, I say the right things. Right. Um, right. If you want to lend. 
Okay, man. All right. Something going on with these these brothers in Hollywood. And I ain't trying to make it funny, Bunny. But uh, he gave him titles like Monique be doing her husband, man. He probably don't qualify for none of that shit. Hold on. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, this is Pamela from Iowa. Oh, what what's going on? Know. You call in hey, by Wendy Williams? Absolutely. Oh, man, we all is. Whatever you got to say, we listening. First of all, I feel, you know, sympathy for and empathy for Wendy. Oh, my God. And, mm-hmm. you know, she she's a good person. But she got a lot of, you know, wrong people around in her circle. Yeah. She sure and do. Then, and then her, her, her. Who is this guy? Her so-called husband, ex-husband. Oh, my goodness. She should have just dropped him. She shouldn't even allow him that much leeway in her life. You know what I mean? Yeah. He out for what he can get, or that's just my personal opinion. Because he should have been by her side all along. It shouldn't have been all these people all in the business. Uh, who who we talking about? Kevin Hunter. So Kevin, who is Wendy Williams' husband? Oh my goodness! Yeah, man. Hey, that's what it is. Mhm. And we gotta let you know that your conversation don't captivated the whole damn audience. We over here stuck on stupid. You amazing, man. You must got superpowers or something, cause people looking at the screen. And they trying to figure out what the hell is going on, man. And that's why your conversations is phenomenal. And the next time we go live, make sure you call back. We got so much love for you, baby. Real talk. She let it be known from the top down to the bottom. She shook this thing up so good. Man, now that's talent. I feel like this the showtime at the Apollo around this motherfucker, man. Y'all give her a round of applause. Anyways, shit, I might as well get ignorant. Since y'all want y'all call up here, y'all crunk with it, I might as well get crunk with it. And kick back and talk about how I feel about Wendy Williams, man. At one point in time, men was trying to decide if Wendy Williams was a sex symbol or not. She got double D'd up. She was all on the TV bulging. Men had to make a decision like, damn, smash or pass. It was a conversation in the barbershop like, would you? With Wendy Williams, they be like, hell no, dog. Then they be like, why not? Then you got to explain why you wouldn't want to bang man and this ain't no disrespect but she was in the conversations the men had to answer them questions like would you with wendy a lot of niggas said no when the truth of the matter is method man and a whole bunch of other rappers they couldn't stay away from wendy Your favorite MC used to be the late night slanger. Run that bag. They always want a sister with big knockers on their daytime TV shows, man. They replaced Wendy Williams with a sister that was even more well endowed. That's the only reason why she got the job, man. Look at this. 
Hold on, Sherry. I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about Wendy Williams. She had bigger knockers than Wendy. And they put her on TV as her replacement. And it make you wonder, how come when sisters on daytime TV, they got to be all double D'd up? Why is that? They got to be busting out the scenes just to be on TV for real. What do her and Wendy Williams got in common? Oh, I know. And she just can't sit still. She jumping up out them seats, jumping up and down all day on the damn show. They ain't slick. There's some brothers out there that only date Sherry Shepherds. If you don't look like Sherry, he ain't gonna date you. She ain't no bad looking female. What's really going on? Look how she's sitting up there with a big old pretty smile. The black dollar parting, man. They think we slow. It's men out there that love to be with a Sherry Shepherd. Down home, Mississippi good looking, man. Mississippi good. Y'all sleeping. High cheekbones, pretty teeth, pretty nose. America know what they doing out there, man. It's a lot of cowboys out there that think she attractive. They out there on the ranch, rocked up. Think about Sherry Wilson, or whatever her name is, man. Sherry Shepard. It's some goat herders out there trying to get her number. But that's Negro here no there, man. Turn that shit down. I'm done talking about it. Look, we waiting for one more phone call. And then we gonna, you know, go ahead and get up out of here, man. And I hope y'all enjoying the show. Wendy Williams in the building. Hold on, y'all. Y'all see this shit? Wait a minute. What the hell going on? Wendy Williams said Sherry is not good looking. That's cold blooded. BBC Concepts said she eat too much barbecue. With a name like that, you eat too much meat. Uh, Leary Sis is in the building as well. What's up? Sauce Bands. Uncle Diggity. Simply a learn. Uh, Miss Shug. Melanie Phoenix. She said, uh, Wendy was actually pretty when she was younger before she got the breast implants, Botox, skin lightening. All she had to do was go to the gym and still do a good, healthy diet. She would look okay, man. She would look good. Hey, man, you just never know. Y'all got them Wendy Williams fetishes and stuff. That ain't what we here to do. I'm just here to let y'all know that her ex-husband... This man ain't right. Listen at this. To the yeah, um, well, basically, just to uh, elaborate a little bit on what uh, Kelvin's saying is that um, her financial people led her to p- attempt to purchase this property. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, hey, this is Naya. Oh, what's going on now? How you feeling over there? We need you to cut that off in the background. Pretty please. Hello? She still there? Oh, uh, hold on, Reggie. She still there? I don't know. Hello? Trying to be here. Can you hear me? Oh, man, we hear you loud and clear now. What's on your mind? Okay, so listen, CB, I wanted to tell you, you know, the publicist, she is the one who was supplying Wendy with the dope. If you go back to that video, the one where um, her niece kicked the publicist out, she was messing with her nose. She had just came in there and she was messing with her nose and the niece got mad. And she was like, yo, using behind. She wasn't talking about using with money. She's talking about using with drugs 
Go back to that video. Am I? Can you hear me? Yeah, man. I'm over here thinking about it in my head. So you saying she was using that dope with Wendy? Yeah, she's a supplier. That's why she took her all the way to L.A. They went out there to get high. I want you so bad when I get off the play that clip where her niece kicked her out the room with Wendy and slow it down like you do. I love when you do that. Slow it down and watch her. She start playing with her nose a little bit and then that's when her niece was like, you know what? Uh-uh. That's when her niece got up because her niece know what's up and that's why she was like, you better than this, you know? That girl supplying her with that ooey. Damn, so, so see, her I'm niece. I'm so glad she fired. I am so she need to be gone. She don't care about Wendy. Just look at it. Damn, man. So the chick was in there. <laughs> she was blowing lines with Wendy before her niece came in there. That's our publicist. I want Damn. you to go to the and slow it down like you do. Oh man, I got it all set up. I got the video right here. We about to go ahead thank you, thank and run you. that thing, babe. And I appreciate you. We gonna look at that and see exactly what you talking about. We got so much love and make sure you call back on the next video, babe. We gonna holler at Thanks you girl. soon. All right, now you be good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Reg, man, get that video together. Cause we gonna see what she talking about real quick. Okay, go on, set it up. All right, here it go. Sorry. Please stay here. We'll get her out of the here, okay? Yes. Yes. One second. Yeah, look right back, Wendy. Okay. Hi. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No. I don't, I don't, I don't know you. I'm good. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll text you. Came out of nowhere, and she hates she knows my better than me. Nice try. I don't need your fake using behind in the middle of my relationship. Why not? Hi. Hold on, wait a minute now. Oh my goodness. I would, that last call I need to call back because that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Shit, if that's the case, her niece on dope too. She said this girl a crackhead that was sitting with when she do look like she on the she look a hot damn mess. Look at her. She might be on some shit. Like from one doper to another, baby. Like you wanna get high, I do. Like come on, let's do it. No, I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. Let's do it. It's out here to be used. It's there's always been drugs. Let's just go ahead and do a blow. You with it, I'm with it. We'll get the cameras. Like, let's get in. Let's get in. Come on, let's just do online. Just lay here and talk, you know. Let the drugs kick in. That ain't have nothing. <laughs> that ain't have shit to do with shit, man. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hello. Hey, what's going on? Who this be? Brown eyes, can you hear me? Oh man, we can hear you clearly. What's on your mind, baby? Um, I don't trust anybody. I don't even trust her family. I don't trust anybody in her circle right now. Um, and we don't know if Wendy want to be with her family, whether they want to keep the alcohol from her or not. Because at the end of the day, Wendy has money supposedly still. She still has money, and money is still the root. Because they could still live off Wendy and her was around her. The, the problem I have is when Black China came or Angela came, she greeted Angela with a, excitement. Now, she hadn't seen her niece in months and months and months. When, and when Alex walked in her apartment, she said, hey, Alex, it was no excitement, no hug or anything. And I know she loves her family, but look at the greeting, how her niece supposed to have her best interest at heart. But she didn't greet her niece for any kind of love or any, any affection, but she did Angela. Number two... I don't think she set Kevin Jr. up correctly because she's a big time Hollywood talk show host. You don't go and do a power of attorney for a, a youngster. You do a living trust. The living trust breaks down what you want your son to get his money in 30, when he turns 30, 25, so on and so forth. You also add the family in there. If he's a minor or he, he thinks he's, he's, he splurges on money, you add your family in there to protect his money too. For some reason, 
she didn't even include her family in the living trust, and she didn't set her her son up for any future generational wealth, which is strange. To me, Wendy didn't trust anybody. You just don't do a power of attorney over your money. You do a living trust. So a lot of this stuff is not adding up, even with the family. If she, if she, if she really wanted to protect her son, she would have included her family to help protect them as well. So it's a lot of missing pieces to me. And this time, this is not how celebrities roll, especially when they only have one child. So at this point, I'm not, I have living trust set up for my children and I don't have nowhere near the money Wendy had, but I'm protecting them. And if they're too young, I have an overseer to protect their money. Something's just not right here. I want Wendy free, but not to her family until we find out why they put a hold on that bank account. It's the reason why they froze that bank account. And I just don't trust anybody right now. That's all I have to say. Oh man, you know what? And we appreciate what you got to say. Don't be no stranger. The next time we go live, make sure you call back, babe. We got so much love for you and we gonna holla at you later. Hello, hello, who this is here? Uh, who this be? Hey, what's going on? How you feeling? Yeah, I just called. You told me to call back. You need to back that video up some more. So when she that publicist first came in, you didn't back it up enough. Just a little bit more, and you'll see what I'm talking about. When she met, she playing with her nose. That's what we gonna do. We gonna rewind it and back it up until we get it right. You know what I'm saying? And we want to thank you so much for calling back to let us know to back up that tape, man. Thank you so much, babe. And don't forget, don't be no stranger. We're going to do what you said to do. We're going to back this tape up until we figure it out as a community, man. Anyways. We done with that video. Listen at this, y'all. We haven't uncovered yet who exactly the property belonged to. Mm but it wasn't initially uh, a lease situation. It was a purchase situation. Uh. So un unlike many uh, many families that have means, when your kid goes to college, it's not uncommon for people with means to go and buy something in the area that the kid's gonna go to school. Right, okay. Particularly in South Florida where, you know, folks wanna have vacation homes. So it's not mm -hmm. unusual for a mom in that position to be able to buy a property so how she got to know about that particular uh, unit, we don't know yet, but we're looking into an, an Got a man there to speak for him. He bought his man there to speak for him. I guess he figured you ain't heard it from me. Like Kevin didn't say that per se. They just speaking on her finances. They, it's a big, been a business move. These brothers don't band together to get some money out this chick. Shady business, man. A cold world. Her husband moving like he in the military. Going straight in her pockets. And it worked out for him for a little bit. Getting them alimony checks. He was living the life. Shrimp, lobsters. Hold up, y'all. Hold on, play that. Hold you down, but I need you to understand, you know, when the heat comes, you know, you have to rise to the occasion. And, you know, we're going to turn this hate into great. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's what I'm here for. You know, I usually stay behind the scenes, but when it comes to what's happening to my entire family and the attack that's happening, it's not just with me. You know, I, I can't stand and just watch it happen. Right. And knowing I was such a, a great part of this legacy and this history and this pop you know it's this is just you know we got to still hold the flag up say less yeah well we definitely don't hate you so Thank i just you. want to put that out there you but don't. you know i don't hate you but i do know <laughs> i have a job Go and ahead. i have to ask the questions that the people will love answers to but i'm here I like we could do it all in respect and be Go great ahead. so i do notice you're calling yourself the king of the purple chair King behind. King behind the purple chair okay. excuse me and a lot of fans have been saying the king behind the purple chair. So just tell our listeners of and power. everybody. Huh? The king behind the purple chair of power. That was the exact title. Okay. Well, tell, uh, explain. That's referring to the Wendy Williams and the um, the show and the umpire, the empire that y'all both made. 
Listen, you know what's crazy? When they first came to me with the title, and Kelvin Cowens, who was a very prolific, great writer, you know, uh, he did a great job. He came to me with the initial title. I think it was something to the effect of um, the man behind uh, Wendy, something. And I was like, no. That's a damn shame. These men riding on the coattail of this female. They all found a way on her coattail and just, they stuck like lint balls. Riding her coattail wherever they can go, just swinging on that shit. Wee! The dust mites swinging on her damn coattail, man. Leeches. Cause she famous and she on the radio. People know who she is. They they all in her ass, man. Man, I said what I had to say. I'ma go ahead, show y'all some love real quick. And then I'ma answer my own question. Hold on, we got a phone call, y'all. Hello, hello, who this is here? Hey, what up, though? You were already supposed to be shining this Slim from the 313, the DET from Detroit. Oh, that's what it is. Slim on the phone, everybody. What's on your mind, brother? I just wanted to, wanted to speak in regards to this Wendy Williams situation, respectively. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I see, Wendy Williams had already did an interview, which mofos got to pay for on the internet with Black China. Ain't nothing wrong with Wendy Williams, man. This is just her karma. It's common sense, which unfortunately, a lot of people don't have. You either born with it's either something you have or you don't when it comes to common sense. But this is this her karma, man. If the chickens have come home to roost in regards to this chicken head, if that makes any sense. The chickens have come home to roost for the chicken head. <laughs> yep. And she just got to cluck with all these new chickens around her. Black China, she a new chicken. Nicki Minaj, she a new chicken. You got all these blogs. Tasha K, she a new chicken. Yep. The chickens have, have hatched. Man, they laid the eggs. Now they have hatched. Damn, man. That's some deep ass. She got to put up with all the, her nieces. She a chicken. Clucking. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> They clucking more than KFC and Popeyes, my brother. Even her son on hatch. A cluck, 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 cluck. Just like his mom. That, just that like his daddy. That even goes for, for, for Miss Mo. Mo IT, Monique. Damn. You know, and I, re and I usually don't care to speak on these celebrities' lives like that, but they the ones who put it out there. So how could viewers like myself or we as the people not have uh some sort of you know what i'm saying some sort of intake on that and they putting it out there Dang. i'll take an intake like amazon you feel me cold world you reap what you sow man yeah that, that's so what they she say had this coming years ago that's what they say she should have slowed her ass down like i said on my last show you figure at 40 years old it's your time to repent and right your wrongs yep. Like, damn, right. I fucked up, but now I'm 40. What I'm going to do with the rest of my life? I'm too old to be a rock star and party. I might as well spend this half doing the right thing. Wendy ain't do that. Oh my she yeah, she slipped of... into her 40s and still <laughs> out there acting a the damn fool. Yeah. And you would think with a, with a, with a woman, like, a sister like Wendy Williams being in a powerful position that she was in, uh, uh, knowing that younger women that look like her that aspire to be like her you would think that she would set the tone set a platform for them like listen this is how i did it but you ain't gotta do it like me do it in your own way but respectfully yeah man that ain't what she did but she ain't have time to really do all that because her ex-husband was ringing of course, her ass the eggplant that the eggplant man the man. eggplant he did her so foul 
And the chick that she, the chick that he left her for wasn't even all that. Really was it? But ain't that how it usually go? Especially within our community? He left her for a regular degular with barely a piece of job. But that's what granddaddy did. Grand, uh, the only thing, the only difference is, is when granddaddy did it back in the uh, the, the, the 1900s, only thing he told grandma before he left for his other family on the other side of town was, I'll be back, I'm going to the store. That's all he did. He just said, you got the internet to call him out. Damn, I'll be back. I'm going to the store. They are up and leave their whole family. Got five kids. I'm going to the store to get some cigarettes. I'm going to get some cigarettes. And they ain't never, never came, heard from never granddaddy came. again until the funeral. Motherfucker hopped on the train and went straight to <laughs> Tennessee. Yep. No, better yet, he was only he hopped on that midnight train to Georgia. Ooh, hopped on the and midnight the train to Georgia and ain't never went back. Just oh, he's leaving. Disappeared leaving. in the crowd. Wasn't no on Facebook. On that midnight train to Georgia. It leaving was, on the midnight train. It wasn't no Facebook to track a nigga down. Ain't got no pictures out there. You you got to ask hearsay. People don't know who, where, or how, how the hell. He just got gone. Missing. He just left in the night and they never came back. Oh, mister. I heard that, Sean. You ain't slick, man. You you slick at you You fast talking New York you. I heard that. Hold on, what the hell going on up in here? That nigga tripping. Reggie, put that gun. What the hell you doing over here? Got a pistol, man. Oh, what you said? Matter of fact, forget whatever he just said, man. All I'm saying is Kevin Hunter left her ass, but he did it cold, brother. He left her. Of course. He moved a chick. Of course he did. He moved a chick a couple of houses down the street from Wendy House. He did. He was basically on some Drake ish. That's what Drake did. When, when uh when when Kanye was dealing with uh Kim, that's what Kanye did. So basically, Kevin Hunter was basically on some Kanye and Drake ish. If the neighbors complain about the noise too much, I buy their house and move across the street. Man, he spent the whole lot of her money. He spent millions of Wendy's money. Have you heard Kevin Hunter doing an interview? Yeah, man, we pulled his interview up and he talking crazy about Wendy and got a dude there to talk to finance. Well, he shouldn't be because he played, he got a checkmate. See, even though he played chess, he's still playing checkers. He's still playing shit. He ain't playing nothing no more. He ain't got no more money, man. He broke. Game over. Kevin Hunter... <laughs> He gonna have to get a job somewhere. <laughs> he gonna have to get a job at Walmart or something. He gonna have to get shit. Hop his hey, ass but like, in the like, truck. Like, like, but like Jay Z said, "Hey, y'all, motherfucker." Hey, like Biggie said, you know, what I'm saying, "Don't be mad." UPS is hiring. He gonna have to figure it out, man. Maybe it's UPS, maybe it's Amazon, but shit. Hopefully he figure it out soon. And one thing for sure, we appreciate your phone call, brother. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk. Yeah, man. Everything he said was nothing but facts. Real talk. But anyway, like I was saying. Wendy stuck. This man drove her insane. She couldn't believe how he could be so mean and so evil. All the money she don't gave, she don't gave her last. And he still took advantage. And she had to get back. Now she got her get back and that's all that ever really mattered to her. She tired. She can't stop thinking about him. She called her brother, Kevin. Every man she sees just Kevin, 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 man. She been fighting with this for a long time. This man done took the better half of her life. And she, she stuck. She can't do nothing else. She want to see that man suffer. She is a woman scorned. They say she drank herself into dementia. 
and you know it got to be about his ass. Why else she, would she be drinking like that? From a broken heart, man. You broke her damn heart, don't broke her spirit, man. And she had to get even with that motherfucker. And out of pure spite and hatred, his world done shattered. And she's still concentrating on his ass. She's still haunting his dreams. He could feel her thinking about his ass. She just wanted to consume his soul with a bottle of liquor. Like, I hate you, motherfucker. Don't curse them. Don't curse that man's name in a thousand different languages. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't nothing like a woman's going. And they talking about her last memory. The only thing she remember. And I don't want to believe none of this stuff is true, man. And let me say this before I get out of here, man. Let me go ahead and answer this question respectfully. Should they put Wendy Williams in the nursing home? That's the question that I'm about to answer. And I want all y'all to answer this question in the comment section, man. Should they put Wendy Williams in the nursing home? I don't think they should do that to nobody if they able. And seeing how she ain't in the nursing home already, that just goes to show me that Wendy Williams is very able. Oh my goodness. How she out here riding around, going to different in and out of state, catching flights and shit. And she got dementia. But y'all still got her participating in documentaries. That's exploitation. This woman need to be sat down somewhere. And taken very, very good care of. Y'all got her running the streets. She on the block. She pulling up. She getting out. Y'all got her working. In the wheelchair. What the hell is going on? Y'all trying to squeeze every dime. They trying to squeeze all the juice out this woman, even though she needs special attention. Is that what they selling? It's either that or they made up the dementia shit just for sensationalism. You know what I'm saying? Hello, hello. Who this is here? What's the deal, this? DZ from Philly. What's the dilly, Blaze? Oh, that's what it is, man. What you got to say about Wendy Williams? All right, so I'm, I'm answering your question. You said, do she belong in a facility? Yeah. All right, let me say, let me say this. She got bread on top of bread. She 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 ain't gonna have that much freedom in no damn facility. And if you're gonna put in a facility, it's up to her. If she want to sign in and, and, and sit down for the rest of her life, we already know she's going loony, you know what I'm saying? But you can't spend the, the bread and drink the way you drink and smoke the way you smoke in a facility. And, and then uh, at the end of anything, she's going to want to agree to it. I don't give a fuck, you know, what your, your family say. Oh, yeah, I think we should put it in a facility. That might shut the bread down. That's number one. And number two, for, for my black folks out there, stop, stop fucking fronting. If y'all had an auntie, an uh, aunt that's getting millions on top of millions, y'all hopping on that, that, that gravy wagon, that, that, that money train. Stop fronting like y'all ain't going to put your hands out for a couple hundred, hundred thousand if your aunt was getting millions. Say so everybody talking about, oh yeah, her family taking the money. Man, y'all would do the same fucking thing. So stop fronting like you, 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 you have your hands in your pocket when your aunt giving you a hundred thousand dollars. Man, hey, every black person listening to this podcast is going to have a hand out for that money train. So stop fronting on her son. Now her son, what I personally think, I don't think he deserves that position that they gave him. Now that's your mom and anything, but you ain't got to be no 
executive, you know, uh, executor of the money. You could just be her regular son, have your hand out for the money train, just like hey, bio, and she drink and you smoke and eat Uber Eats all your damn life. <laughs> Hey man, hey, you know I feel the same way. He ain't got to be done executive, done diddied up the whole city. He walking around there with the big pants on, like, mom, did you have a drink? Cause we about to start filming. They want to see you pissy drunk, so you know we want this to be a number one smash. And if you're gonna be an executor, be mature, you know, about the situation. Be grown. Stop, stop, stop feeding off somebody else coattail to knock your mom down. Mama you ain't got to knock your mom. You ain't got to knock your mom down for no fucking bread. All you got to do is ask her, mom, let me get a hundred thousand for, 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 for pizzas. And, her, for feet pizza. all, her feet are already, already swole, man. They can't be trying to knock her down anyway. And that's why I'm saying her family is the worst part of everything that's going on in her career. See, y'all say that, but you had your hand out too, wasn't you, Sean? Now, if your aunt was getting millions for years, you wouldn't have your hand out for a couple of hours. Man, money for what? I ain't taking no hundred thousand for no Uber Eats. I, shit, money, I don't need money. that much Uber Eats. I need a hundred thousand for something else. It ain't got to be no for that. That's what her son did. It ain't got to be no for no Pizza Hut and McDonald's. You can ask her for a hundred thousand for a, a Bugatti. Can you buy me a car? And can you buy me a crib and a cul-de-sac with a with a pool and a, and a rooftop deck? Everybody would have their hand out. It, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm sitting here listening like. People say, oh, her family is this and that because they, they took money from her. All right, I can understand if you steal money well, from her because you're stealing. This is the thing about she, it, bro. I hear what you're saying. If her family was with her for a handout, that's on them. But it's a whole different ball game when you put yourself with her on camera when she had the lowest point in her life and y'all talking about y'all executive producers, that's beyond low. That's on a whole nother level of exploitation. So what? She got people with their hands out. She probably want to give some people some money. That's on her. But as far as her being exploited by her so-called loved ones, that's on a whole nother level of disgusting. All right, now, with that, that's, that's humiliating. They um they put her as a, on a documentary uh, to a humiliator for what she said about the ABCDE. I think I called last night. And I was telling you about that, but I was coughing, and he was like, "I was smoking weed or some shit." Yeah, that, I remember that, that man. And you know what? I need to elaborate on that because you don't refresh my memory, man. And thank you so much for your phone call. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Because now that I remember, he did call in and he said something zesty, man. And shout out to him and thank him so much for his phone call. But this right here, what's going on with Wendy and her ex-husband, this done shook up her life. And now it's looking like she ain't never going to be able to bounce back. Hold on, y'all. Y'all need to look at this real quick. Yeah, that up there. She, she was the life of the party. The life of the party. And this man, he don't look like he had chicks chasing him around the club without Wendy. And that's the reason why she got with his ass. She figured I ain't got to worry about no bitches. Oh my goodness. Like, sure, I'll deal with you, meatball. You could be my puppy. Like, look at this, a nice pit bull dog. I'll take him. 
Like, as long as he's a man, baby, that's all that matters to me. Damn, look, look at her nose, y'all. Y'all see her nostrils? What the hell she been doing? This nose look like it, this nostril look like it can't take no more. I'm gonna close on my own. Hello, hello, who this is, is here? It's jail time, it's jail time, what's up, Blake? Oh, what it do, brother, man, how you feeling? Man, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I've been watching your video, man. Oh, man, we over here talking about Wendy Williams. It's like she got this man stuck on the brain, her ex-husband. She's just obsessed with his ass. It looked like, don't she look like that motherfucker, like that thing from uh, Beetlejuice when they did the, uh, when they did the thing when, they, when the lady pulled us on their face when they were trying to spook the people. I mean, she's ugly, man. You can't get off your screen, Blaze, man. You know, for real, but I can't even watch the videos, bro. You feel me? You know what I mean? Like, it hurts to watch the first video. That I can't even watch it, man, because at one point in time, I was lusting after Wendy, man. I watched Wendy every day. You know, she was all right. Back in the day, he was, you, he you was dope. You would have went ahead and slid with Wendy? Man, off the muscle, man. I ain't, ain't going to play. You know it's jail time, man. You know what time it is. But you, yeah, you look at the old pictures yeah. and stuff like, you know, she was she was together, you know. Um, but you I gave her that do, work. For sure, for sure. Yeah, Wendy, yeah, most definitely I would have took Wendy to another level, you know. To um, another level. You would have just went ahead, laid it on all out on, let Wendy have it all. Go on, just say, hey, Wendy is yours. Just take me, take me, Wendy. Take me to the top. Because she had, she was pop, okay? Nobody, like, knocked that she had, you know, uh, Daytime television don't lock. You know what I mean? Like everybody was tuned in. You know, I just think, you know, too much sugar booger, too much partying. You know what I mean? And um, too too much of the of that limelight and dealing with you know them secrets, man. When you get caught up in that that world and them secrets and harbor them secrets and stuff that her and her husband and her husband for was doing. So you know, and then yeah. it all comes back around, man. You know that's what they say about like all time was in like those they didn't have an old age. They was like. That stuff comes when you done some stuff in your life and you, you know, hold on to, I don't know. You know what I mean? But that's what I've heard. She was, uh, once upon a time, she was healthy and she was double, triple D'd up. What? You what? Know, she, she was a stallion. What? She was tall. She was healthy. She was, uh, you know, she was bubbling all out the top. Man, it, she was beautiful. I ain't gonna front. She was like the, the black. She was like the uh, the Anna Nicole Smith of the black <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, hold on. You up. said she was the the Ru <laughs> the RuPaul. What? Come on. You said your name jail time, God. ain't it? You got a type. You got a type. We realize you got a type, man. You you like the Wendy Williams looking type, of the big hands, strong. You like that? That that's that jail time. Who else like it? Who else good? Like, what's his? <laughs> Serena Williams built no, like so it. You like that? Man. You like Serena Williams too? With them big old hands, <laughs> big thick neck. Big you like manly, that shit? Big butchy, old. Yeah, take care of a nigga. Strong yeah. jaws. Yeah. Eating steaks yeah. every day. Steak dinner. Steak, steak, steak. Hey. Strong jaws. Hey. Strong motherfuckers. You feel me? <laughs> Strong cakes. What happened to her cakes though? Like at one point she had some cakes, and then I don't know what them stilts she got. Them Daisy Dukes. You oh, know we know you. Saying. That's all you give a damn about is them cakes. That's your main <laughs> thing, man. The, the, man, the strong <laughs> face in the cakes, man. That's all you give a damn about, man. Uh, hey, what's up, though, Blaze? Holler, I'm back in Kentucky, man. I'm oh, man, your little jail time. He in Kentucky. Man, what the hell yeah. you going to do out there in Kentucky, man? You better not get man. no more trouble out there. I'm born and raised, man, Louisville, Kentucky, man. You know what time it is. So I'm back home, man. But uh, yeah. I enjoy, you know, I've been, you've been, you got me through all it for sure, all it, man. You got me through the videos. Appreciate uh, you know, the information. Hold on, your there. wife really... kicked your ass. She kicked you to the curb. See what I'm saying? Now you won't throw my business, chef. Oh, shit, we she don't do. You, you don't but... supposed to be doing that girly gossip and this shit. I know you just couldn't wait to get a little tidbit she... of information go wrong. She sent you back. Street. She sent you back to your mama. Man, it's a long story, but hey, man, we're oh, not looking at you. It's always a nigga always trying to put that, that, that trying to put that bad oh, publicity, trying to put that bad publicity damn, out there on me. And it ain't even like that, man. That's See, damn. I gotta get, that's what don't don't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna get on the phone. Man. I'm gonna have a call. You know, no, I'm gonna have a call. Yeah, she's gonna, gonna have talk. We gonna hedge it up. Damn. Yeah. 
jail, yeah. jail time, yeah. bro. Man, I'm we back appreciate you back in those streets. Lord have mercy, man. We gonna yeah, pray for man. you, dog. And you can't be man. no stranger, pray dog. And make sure you'll <laughs> stay your ass out of trouble in Kentucky, man. Remember, you a grown ah, ass man. You. Don't go back to I your old you, ways. Man. We gonna holla at you later, jail time. Real what's talk, that? brother, what's man. What's God that? bless you, uh, brother, man. Real ooh. talk. Lord have mercy. Oh no. Oh. Man, get your ass off the floor. Oh man. Jail time back at his mama house, man. Oh, that mercy. I can't even take it. His wife done booted his ass, done found herself a real baller. His wife over there cooking that man. She over there baking some macaroni and cheese in her booty shorts for her new man. Now, yep, I'm going to do this one right. Jail time back at home with his mama, man. Hey, mama. Make me a sandwich when you get back. Oh, man, you gotta pray for people nowadays. They ain't got nothing to do with Wendy Williams. Shit. He gonna be cellmates with jail time in a little bit. Cause Wendy, she booted his ass. He can't afford to pay his rent. He had to give back them calls. He doing Uber Eats and shit. His son ain't see his daddy in about 10 years. He ordered that Uber Eats. He come to the door. His daddy standing there with a bag in his hand. Like, man, he goes, man, just take it. He throw the dinner down and run back to the car and pull off. He leave the dinner because he see the name. Like, oh, shit. He open the door. His dad hop in the gate. He ain't even put he ain't even put the security code in. Nigga hop the gate and hop back in the car and live. This bad. He was even starting to look like Wendy Williams. He like anything you can do, I can do better. He probably was putting on her dresses and everything when she went to work. Talking about he the king behind the purple. <laughs> The king behind the purple chair. Soon as she go on stage, he go sit in her chair, butt naked, slithering and shit. Anything you can do, I can do better. He put on her wig and everything. She busts in on his ass. He be like, how you doing? Kevin, what the fuck? He be slipping on them stockings. He be breathing hard as hell. <sighs> he put on the whole Wendy Williams attire. Nigga start stepping on his tippy toes like a ballerina. Look, he forced to sell all that shit. He got to come up off all that. He got financial struggles. She cut that alimony. He looked just like her damn brother. She saw her brother and called him Kevin. It hurt his feelings, man. Oh my goodness. He leaned back with them big old Wendy Williams breasts. He probably be playing dress up too. Soon as ain't nobody looking, he breach in the closet. Get his big tall Wendy Williams dress. Put a wig on. Start standing on his tippy toes like a ballerina. Oh my goodness. Who knows, man? Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. And also, I need y'all to hit that subscribe. This all alleged allegations. <laughs> man, this comedy is satire, man. Y'all need to get out y'all feelings. This all jokes for entertainment purposes, man. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all some love. Good Lord, humble waters, baby, what you done, done. Man, thank you so much for that donation, baby. I owe you, for real. Gabby J and Grace, thank y'all so much for that cash app. Lars, Tammy, don't hit that cash app twice. Manny Rippleton and Demetrius Bright, got so much love for y'all, man. I'm Tivius Banks. Everybody out there, Sean pimping. I see you out there pimping, and I'ma holler at y'all later. 
subscribe to my channel if that's what you want subscribe to my channel if that's what you want but if that's not what you like then you must be a punk hold on now here we go who is this girl she got that junk in her trunk baby girl back it up poke out your rump it's sat